Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marco Delia and today I want to make a freestyle video talking about a topic that recently I'm really getting into, which is dressing. Why the way you appear is so important for your life, for your career, for your success, your relationships and your end goals. Well, I'm starting to start to, to, to wear, I don't know if you notice it, I'm starting to wear more formal clothes for the, for the last month or two months. Uh, I'm starting to dress shirts even here, even if I'm at home. And because I watched a lot of videos and I watched a lot of entrepreneurs and read a lot of stories of successful people talking about it. And if you watch other entrepreneurs, depending on the on the guy, of course, for example, if you watch Gary Vee, they don't wear formal almost almost never. <laughs> but if you watch, for example, Jeremy Fragrance, or if you watch Dan Pena, or if you watch Dan Locke, or if you watch, I don't know, even Real Man Real Style, Alex Costa, Teaches Men's Fashion, all these guys are really great people, successful people, and they always wear incredible clothes. So why is it so important? Dan Pena is one of the most uh, important and rich people in the finance community. He's an old man and he always says that if you're trying to become rich and successful and you're always wearing a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or something like you're never gonna do that like how how can you be he always says that how can you become rich not wearing a suit what does it mean by saying that he means that the way you appear really the like changes the way you interact with other people and the way people see you if you read a book called Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins, it talks about it, the focus and the state in which you put yourself into. So it depends on two things. First of all, the way you see yourself, so the image you create yourself, really depends also and mostly on the way you appear physically. So if you have a six pack, if you're healthy, if your teeth are great, if you have great hair and if you wear formal clothes, then it's so much easier for you to see you as successful and rich. If you are always uh, not in a self-care position, always in the no game, always wearing whatever you want, yes, you, become, you can become a millionaire, of course, anywhere, like anyway, but it's harder for you to be confident and believe in yourself that you can do it. So it's a matter of how you see yourself and it's a matter of how other people see yourself see you. Why? Because if you read a book called How to Win Friends and Influence People, you will notice that the first impression is so important. That's why I always talk about fragrances. Fragrances can also improve the way other people see you. And having a first impression of someone that is strong, confident, and wear formal clothes, and is has really nice and clean haircut, and has a great self-care, you see that is uh, he matters, he always takes care of himself, is such a better first impression factor than just being normal and not taking care of yourself. So there's one thing, if you read a book, Influence, and, I, and the third book that I suggest you, if you read a book called Influence, the, the Psychology of Persuasion, you can notice that there's one thing called the halo effect, which means that by the way you appear, you can influence other people's opinions on all the things that you do. So for example, even if it's, it, it seems stupid, if there's somebody that is more attractive for the halo effect, which is a psychological thing, people will automatically and unconsciously think that all the things that he does or he thinks or he says are better than someone that does the same things but is not as attractive as him. That's insane, but that happens every day. That's why whenever you think about a celebrity or a supermodel, you always think that they are successful, they are great. It's also because of the way they appear. So if you want to trick your brain and other people into thinking that you're more successful, 
you start to dress more formal. You start to take, take care more of yourself. You start to wear more formal clothes. And it's also a matter of being responsible and reliable. So if you work or if you go to a job interview, it's, you give a much better uh, impression for trust and security and confidence if you wear formal clothes than if you don't wear them. Let me tell you, I hate shirts. It really, it's not, uh, it's not comfortable at all. But because you wear uncomfortable clothes, they will put you in an uncomfortable place and situation, which makes you keep going, which makes you keep moving instead of just being lazy and lay down and stay there and be comfortable. So wearing formal clothes, even at home, started to really change my life. And if you, read, if you read a book called The Secret, which talks about the law of attraction, you can believe in it or not, it's not esoteric as you think, but if you believe in the scientific part of the book, uh, it says a very nice and cool thing about psychology. That is, you need to keep saying yourself that you are already what you want. So for example, if you are, if you want to become successful or rich, if you want 10 million euros, as I have right there on my wardrobe written down, if you have there and you keep saying, I want to, I am successful. I am, you know, positive affirmations, like all the athletes do, all the athletes do affirmations and visualizations. So they focus on themselves being already, uh, with that goal that they want achieved or with the things that they want already, like they already have them. So th this is called visualization. Also Tony Robbins talks about it a lot. If you keep saying yourself, I'm rich, I'm strong, I'm confident, I am successful, I am famous, I am important. And then you stay on your bed wearing your pajama or sweatshirt the whole day working in the office with a t-shirt you're trying like you're tricking your brain you're confusing your brain you're like talking about something in your brain in your mind you're always saying i am successful and then on the exterior world you're manifesting that being successful with wearing a t-shirt that doesn't make sense that's why it doesn't happen so it's actually kind of true i really mean it and also successful people if you watch them they always wear these kinds of clothes and i think that everyone should also if you want to become part of the if you want to create a personal brand, so a, bur a brand uh, of yourself, you need to also have a signature look. And for example, I love black. I love total black. I have always wore, uh, I always wear total black for five years, four years. If you watch my previous videos, nine of the 10 videos that I make, I wear total black clothes simply because I like them. It's very cool. It's formal. It's also casual, so you can wear it anywhere. And I don't make always the choice whenever I wake up, I don't waste time uh, choosing every time which kind of clothes do I wear, do I have to wear, or the matches that I have to make. I just know that I have a black shirt or a black t-shirt, a black thing, and it's all good. And people will like me, people know me for that now. So my signature look is kind of that black outfit, total black, I really like it. And now I'm upgrading to a total black suit. So a shirt or trousers, elegant form of trousers, elegant formal shoes instead of a uh, black t-shirt or black pants. Uh, so that's it. And people sometimes, because I work also in the modern industry, told me, Marco, yeah, but why total black? Uh, you know, you would be better with your skin type, with some hair experiments. Uh, try with different kinds of colors. Maybe you would be better with these kinds of colors for your hair. Guys, I don't care. It's fashion. You can wear whatever you want. I also know people that work in the fashion industry for years and they always say these kinds of colors matching and things. Yes, they work, but you can wear whatever you want. You can wear whatever you prefer. If you feel better, if you feel more confident and if you feel yourself in a kind of color, then why change it? So that's it, guys. Always try try to find your signature look, but I recommend you if you want to become successful. Yes, there are entrepreneurs that wear, that don't wear a formal, but they are like super rare occasions like Mark Zuckerberg or Steve Jobs or sometimes Elon Musk. 
but you know these are very rare geniuses in the industry so normal entrepreneurs which are more than you think they always wear formal clothes and it's also cool guys people will take you more seriously and you also will take more serious yourself seriously more yourself so try at least try even when you're at home even here during this pandemic try you will see much better results or at least when you are when pe when someone sees you it's like a uniform like the spider-man uniforms or the superman uniform Superman he could wear whatever he wants when he is at home, but whenever people see him, he needs to have a uniform. Uh, so whenever you make a YouTube video or whenever you go and make social media content or whenever you go to the supermarket, wherever, wear formal clothes. Formal clothes doesn't always mean shirt and a suit, but it can also be something formal or business casual. Try and see. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. That's just my opinion, of course, but I really want to help you. So I keep growing. I keep going on with my self-development routine every single day. I keep reading. I keep learning. I keep going with on with uh, MMA, mixed martial arts, uh, singing, dancing, acting classes, speech training, all of these things. Let's keep going. See you guys in the next videos. Peace. I've been flying from town to town.